lift routine servicing maintenance and safety procedure. Work location: one, arriving at job site. Park your vehicle at appropriate visitor parking lot. Report to person in charge upon arrival. Take the keys. Ask the managerial personnel about the service condition. Keep all the feedback from customer in note and report to your immediate superior. Work location two, at the gate of the lift. Display the maintenance label at the gate of the elevator. Work location three, in car and cop inspection. Check and test the lift. Listen. Look and feel if there is any abnormalities present in car. Check and test that the lift work in normal operation. Check and test if there is any abnormalities in the car. Check and test if the lift work in normal operation in acceleration. Check and test if the lift work in normal operation in deceleration. Check every component in car. Check the fan working in normal operation. Check the lights working in normal operation. Check the safety door hold or the safety light curtain. Check the test the cop alarm bell button. Check and test the intercom. Check the cop operation panel screen. Check the cup button of each floor. Check the door open buttons. Check the door close buttons. Work location four, at the gate of the lift. Opening and closing the door at each floor. Check if the door is inclined at each floor. Check if the door can open and close smoothly at each floor. Check the gap of the door is adequate enough at each floor. Clean the dirt or dust on the paddle at each floor. Work locations five. Lift motor room. Environment check. Unlock the lift motor room and turn on the light. Check the lighting in the lift motor room. Check the windows and doors in the lift motor room. Check if there are waste in the lift motor room. Check if there is oil leaking on the floor. Mechanical check. Check the main power switch box. Check the lighting power switch box. Check the machine operating in normal condition. Check the steel main ropes. Check the outside of the control panel and clean it. Check the inside of the control panel and clean it. Check the speed governor is in working condition and clean it. Check the surface of the e box and clean it. Check the surface of the e b o p s and clean it. E box test. Turn off the single phase switch. 
test the e-box operating power. Test the e-box operating voltage. Test the e-box operating current. Motor brake test. Turn off the three-phase switch. Switch the control panel to manual. Clean and oil the arm of the machine brake. Check and clean the fulcrum of the machine brake. Check the gear oil of the machine and oil it. Top up if necessary. Check the wire reel of the machine. Check the bed rubber of the machine. Check the bias wheel of the machine. Check the brick shoe tension. Check the screw on the encoder of the machine. Check the fan of the machine. Check the control panel and frequency converter. Turn off the three-phase switch on the control panel. Clean the control panel. Check the main contactor on the control panel. Check each of the terminal on the control panel. Check and clean the regenerative resistor. Test the running and breaking of the machine. Turn on the three-phase power supply and test the power supply. Test the signal of the control panel. Test the machine running and the safety switch. Manual testing the brake drum action. Manual testing the brake coil open amount. Manual test the UP operation. Manual test the DN operation. Turn off main supply. Check and clean the governor. Check and clean the main steel cable. Check the pin of the main steel cable. Check the spring of the main steel cable. Check the babbit alloy of the main steel cable. Check the cable clamp of the main steel cable.
Check the degree of wear and tear on the main steel cable. Clean the main cable and manually turn on the UP and DN operation. Test if the main cable has wire breaking phenomenon. Work location 6. Car top and lift hoist weight. The process of opening the door to the car top. Confirm the elevator position down instructions. Press the button to bring the lift to this floor. Press the cup button to T1 level and the lowest level. Open the door when the lift stop at the T1 level. Enter the car top after about 8 seconds. Close the door at floor T1 and check if the lift start moving again. After the confirmation that the lift cannot move, then enter the car top. Cut off the safety switch. Cut the manual switch. Cut the door switch. Turn on the working light. Check if there is oil in the oiler. Check if there are oil on the guide rails. Check and clean the slight guiding device. Check the emergency safety switch. The main steel cable adjustment test. Stop the lift at the tier 1 floor. Test the tension of the main cable by hand respectively with 1, 2, 3, and 4 cable. Adjust the loose cable to the same tension. Car top check. Check the cable head position. Check the junction box on the car top. Tighten the terminal. Check door motor cam switch. Check the door motor drive belt and wheels. Check the door gate switch. Check and clean the door rail. Check the door mechanism. Check the volume of the GET SW. Check the door. Check the screw of the door. Check the door handing wheel. Check the SD wire. Check the car door shoe. Check the door pane. Check the door paddle. Restore the original condition. Check and clean the SDESW or the screen. Door check. Check and clean the crane of the door. Check and clean the guide rail of the door. Check the door gap. Check the handing wheel of the door.
check the UP wheel of the door. Check the link cable and the wheel of the door. Check the counterweight and frame of the door. Check the lock size of the door. Check the SW volume of the door. Check the short circuit bar of the door. Check the landing door shoe. Check and clean the pedal of the door. Check the screw on the hanging plate of the door. Check and clean the final limit switch. Check the upper end switch. Check the cutting board. Check the switch and the cutting board. Check the counterweight frame. Check the counterweight slide oiler. Check the upper and lower of the slide guiding device on the counterweight side. Work location 7. Add the carpet. Stop the lift on the second floor. Switch the cop to manual. Turn off cop for door maintenance. Open the door at the first floor. Stuck the door. Climb the stairs to the carpet. Switch the safety switch and turn on the light. Check the tension wheel. Check the cable of the tension wheel. Check the buffer. Clean the carpet. Check the cable. Work location 8. Report to customer upon completion of works. Set the control panel. Remove the maintenance display label. Report the scope of work to client. Fill in the maintenance form and ask the client for signature. Submit the maintenance form to the client. Finish.